morning everyone. My name is Mark Brown. Today we will be talking about the history of Jamaican music and the focus is going to be on rock steady. Jamaica has five types of music. We have mento, ska, rock steady, reggae and dancehall. Rock steady is a type of music that was originated in Jamaica in 1966. It's a mixture of the American jazz and blues with a bit of African and Caribbean music styles. Now you are going to watch a video that will tell you everything that you need to know about Rocksteady. The Rocksteady era was dominated by music coming out of Sir Coxon's Studio One and Duke Reed's Treasure Isle Studios. In this period we see the rise of the vocalists, particularly vocal trios like the Heptones, the Techniques, the Tenors, the Melodians, the Jamaicans, the Treetops and the Gay Lads to mention a few. Female soloists like Norma Fraser, Phyllis Dillon and Marcia Griffiths also begin to assert themselves. What follows is a whole bunch of examples of popular tunes from the era of Rocksteady. Rocksteady is a music genre that originated in Jamaica around 1966. A successor of ska and a precursor to reggae, Rocksteady was performed by Jamaican vocal harmony groups such as the Gaylades, the Maydales, the Heptones and the Paragons. The term Rocksteady comes from a dance style that was mentioned in the Alton Ellis song Rocksteady. Dances performed to Rocksteady were less energetic than the earlier ska dances. The first international rock steady hit was Hold Me Tight, 1968, by the American soul singer Johnny Nash. It reached number one in Canada. Rock steady uses some of the musical elements of rhythm and blues, R&B, jazz, ska, African and Latin American drumming, and other genres. One of the most easily recognizable elements, as in ska, are offbeat rhythms. Staccato chords played by a guitar and piano on the offbeats of the measure. This offbeat can be counted so that it falls between each count as an end. Example, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. The perceived tempo became slower with the development of Rocksteady than it had been in ska and this led to a number of changes in the music. The guitar and piano players began to experiment with occasional accents around the basic offbeat pattern. This can be heard throughout Jamaican recordings in subsequent years. The slowing that occurred with Rocksteady allowed bass players to explore more broken, syncopated figures, playing a counterpoint to the repetitive rhythm of the guitar and keyboards, and this new style eventually largely replaced the walking patterns that had been so characteristic of many ska recordings. These new patterns fit very well with the simpler modal chord progressions often used by Jamaican players. Byron Lee was the first ska band leader to have a full-time electric bass. By 1966, the advantages of recording and performing with electric bass had meant most players made the switch to electric. A number of factors led to smaller band sizes and this in turn led to changes in the way the music was composed and arranged. The slower tempo and smaller band sizes in turn led to a much larger focus on the bass line in general which eventually became one of the most recognizable characteristics of Jamaican music. In Rocksteady, the lead guitar often doubles the bass line, in the muted picking style created by Lynn Tate, a technique that continued on into reggae. Many Rocksteady songs are love songs. For example Sharing You by Prince Buster, which is a cover of a MIDI Collier original, and Queen Majesty by The Techniques which is a cover of Minstrel and Queen by The Impressions. There are Rocksteady songs about religion and the Rastafari movement, though not to the same extent as in reggae. At the time of Rocksteady's debut, lower-class Jamaicans were struggling to prevail over the shortage of food, shelter and employment. This suffering set the stage for the emergence of a rebellious subculture known as Rude Boys. Some Rocksteady lyrics either celebrated or criticized the violent lifestyle of the Ruth Boys, 
and spoke out against political injustice. The root boy phenomenon had existed in this period, but was expressed more obviously during the rock steady era in songs such as Rude Boy Gone to Jail by the Clarendonians. No Good Rudy by Justin Hines and the Dominoes. Don't Be a Ruse Boy by the Rulers, and many others. Crying was a theme in some rock steady songs, such as Alton and the Flames Cry Tough, which urged Jamaicans in the ghettos to stay tough through the hard times. Hey, it's me again. I hope you enjoy that presentation about our musical culture. Alright, so below is a link with a test paper. I want you to do that test paper for me and then you're going to send it to my email. Alright? And the email is mbredcarpet at gmail.com mbredcarpet at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me at 867 3153 again A673153 Stay tuned see you next class If you fall from the race it's no disgrace just be